to get a little bit better access i have removed the bolts there there and also on the other side and uh, that uh, exhaust clamp the batteries some cables this starter solenoid just go down there so hopefully i can just remove this whole rear end of the rider I remove all the oiled oil because I will turn the mover on the side. So here's the size we need, three of an eight. And this is the 10 millimeter and it's a bit, a little bit too big. Uh, some uh, filing and uh, the three of an eight uh, inch This, this one here, U-ring key socket, I don't know, uh, it fits. And here I can use a 10 millimeter, just a regular socket. <laughs> I have to transfer this uh, part here and also the, the key from the shaft. I'm trying to line up the, 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 this uh, uh, pulley, you know, the, the part for the key with the key because the engine is supposed to be something like this. This is the back, so I'm in. Get that uh, bolt in there, everything else attached, and then almost done. Uh -huh. I have uh, put on some more accessories since yesterday. It is this uh, the plus cable that goes to the starter from the solenoid. This one goes up to the battery. These attaches here. This is uh, charging, the red one here. So I'll just let it go here. This is uh, the kill switch. So it should go to this one. They don't look the same, so I'll have to do many make an adapter here and then ground we have here goes up to battery and uh, fuel of course the fuel line here is the electrical connections or how it should look like
I know now that the rider works well, so I need to cut up this uh, pipe and make it fit between the exhaust here and the intake of the muffler here because the old engine was a side valve and that uh, exhaust uh, port was here. <laughs> subframe rear is easy to remove with just four screws so no problem <laughs> Now we have a working manifold and uh, uh, you can buy these uh, already fixed from uh, Husqvarna, just get one for the overhead valve engines and they fit. Um, so if you want to replace your engine either you can do this welding or uh, you can buy already finished product and maybe that's better because the welder's a bit expensive, the gas is expensive and everything. <laughs> <laughs>